Welcome to the complete AI movie creation masterclass. In this video, we will create this entire movie trailer from scratch. Her stranded in the frozen alien landscape, her cries swallowed by the void. Day after day, Emma adapted. Survival became her routine as she braved Titan's icy plains and learned to endure the silence. Her only companions were the alien sky and the distant... <laughs> So in most of the generative AI tools, you can generate videos directly using text prompts. But if you want to maintain consistency among the scenes and have more controls over the scenes, then it's better to use a image to video technique. And that is the exact approach we will also use in this video. So for image generation, we will use CR.AI and for video generation, we will use Runway's Gen3 Turbo model. And also for voiceover, we will use 11 Labs. And then to add background music, we will use Udo.AI. So we will create this entire movie for absolutely free of cost. And I will also show you the proper way to prompt to get your desired result. So even if you are using a different tool for image generation and video generation, this video is going to be still valid for you. So first, let's jump into ChatGPT and let's start with brainstorming our idea. Okay, so in ChatGPT, let's start with creating a story. So I have a small idea for the story like an astronaut who has lost a in Titan, which is a moon of Saturn, and somehow got back to Earth after 100 years. Well, it is somewhat inspired by Interstellar. So let's generate the story from it. Okay, so it's pretty long actually. Let's make it short. Okay, now I am happy with the length of the story. So I will ask ChatGPT to separate the script into individual scenes and also provide me with the voiceover narration for each scene. And in case ChatGPT takes any other version, I will simply copy and paste this particular script over here as well. Okay, now what I feel is that we can further divide each scene into two scenes. So I can simply ask ChatGPT to just simply divide each scene into two. Okay, now that we have a story to work with, let's get started with the image generation process. Now, rather than directly jumping onto the image generation model to generate images uh, by simply uh, typing text prompts uh, there, it's better to generate prompts from chat GPT. So you can train a chat uh, by uh, giving the input and what details you want regarding the prompt and the rules chat GPT needs to follow. For example, here I have generated a master prompt where it says that uh, I'm assigning you with a task where I will need your assistant to for generating detailed prompts for creating each characters in the story. And I have then uh, added details, description, like the physical appearance of, uh, for the physical appearance, what kind of description you need to give. And one important thing I have also mentioned is that for expression, it may vary from scene to scene. Well, of course, uh, for every situation, the character is not going to be uh, having the same facial expression. It is going to vary from the situation to situation. So like this, I have added a detailed prompt and, and I will just enter it on chat GPT. Okay, I'm doing this in a separate chat rather than doing it in the single chat because we will get confused later on. So now what we will do is we will simply copy and paste the short story description that we have generated from here. Simply copy it and paste it over here. So I'm just providing the story. Okay, now you can see as soon as I have provided the story, ChatGPT has picked the character and described the character with full details. Now what I need is a single prompt to generate image for this character. So let's copy the name of the character and paste it over here. And also I'm just specifying that I only need text prompts. I don't want to generate images. I will generate an image uh, in a different tool. If you don't uh, add this line, there is a possibility that ChatGPT will simply generate an image using DALI. So it's better to make your prompt as detailed as possible. 
Okay, now we have a single prompt to describe the character, but we have few extra information as well. But we only need the character description such as what's her appearance and what is she wearing. So I think only this part of the prompt is what we actually need. So let's copy and paste it over here. And also we will ask ChatGPT to add this entire description of the character whenever the character is been mentioned in the story. So for that, so I will add a prompt above like in any scene, Emma's character or maybe astronaut Emma appears in the scene. You must include all these details in the prompt to describe the character. And at the end, I will also add another few information like the facial expression of the character can change from scene to scene depending on the situation of the story. So let's update this to ChatGPT's memory for this chat. Okay, now this has been updated to ChatGPT. Now I will add another prompt. Now I want to add more information. So I want ChatGPT to add more things to its memory in this chat, which is the format of the prompt. Okay, so here is the format you need to follow for adding prompts to any image generation model. That is first you need to add the scene overview then the main subject of the scene and what is the action that is going on then the scene settings and more details about the background than the surrounding and finally the visual style and that is what i have also entered here in the prompt that uh, i want the prompt to be in this format first i want the scene overview then the main subject then the scene settings about the background and the surrounding details and the visual style. So for the scene overview for all the scenes, it should start with cinematic shot off. So I want a cinematic view and I want this to be in realistic or hyper realistic or something like that. So I also have added this information so that the prompt start with cinematic shot off. And then I also want to add a visual style for all the shots. So. So I want this movie to be somewhat similar to uh, the visual style of Interstellar. So what I can do is, so for that I can simply search it on Google or you can search it on Perplexity about what film stock was used for Interstellar movie. Okay, so these are the film stocks that was used in Interstellar. So let's copy and paste the first one and paste it over here and add it to ChatGPT's memory. And now one by one, I will simply copy the visuals from the previous script for each of the scenes that we have generated from another chat and simply paste it over here and hit enter. Okay, so it has generated the first prompt from the scene, but it has not added the character description. So I can simply ask it to add the description as well. Okay, so here is a detailed prompt with the character description. So we can simply copy it and head on to cart.ai. Okay, so we are in cart.ai. Let's click on generate and let's paste the prompt over here. And for the model, I would like to select community models. Here we have flux. Let's select this, apply this. And from additional details, Let's select this fine-tuned model, which is Flux Realism LoRa. Then you can select the aspect ratio. Then under advanced configuration, we have an option called fixed seed. Let's turn it on so that the seeds are not randomized and we get consistent images throughout. Okay, so it has generated the image with the spacecraft as well as there is another human on Titan. So we don't want that. Let's get back to ChatGPT. What I will do is I will simply copy the previous one. I think we have a detailed description of the character here in the prompt, uh, but we don't need the description when the character is inside the spacecraft. So I would simply paste the old prompt and do one more thing. From this three dot task info, I will copy the seed and paste it over here and then generate. What it will do is it will keep the overall visuals consistent. And now similarly, we can generate the next scene 
copy the prompt from here and using the prompt, let's generate the image. But make sure that the fixed seed is on. Then the next scenes images are generated. Let's generate the next one. Okay, now we have our generated image. And if you compare with this character with the next scene, you can see the characters are pretty consistent. And in the similar way, we will continue generating the rest of the images of this movie. And now we have all the scenes of our film ready. Okay, now that all the images of all the scenes are generated, let's head on to Runway ML and let's get started with the video generation process. Here are the prompting guide to generate videos in Runway. So this is the format you need to follow. First is the camera movement, then will be the establishing shot or the scene. So you are basically going to describe the scene, the main character uh, and the subject, the action it's going on, the background and all the other details and then if you need to add any additional details you can do that and here we also have few camera styles that you need you can add to your prompt and also below these we have some lighting styles that you can actually add to your prompt and the movement speed that you can add then the movement type also like explosion if you want to add or emerges or something grows you can add that as well Okay, now let's get started with generating the video. So let's drag and drop the first image over here. And after that, here I will add a prompt inside the third bracket or the square bracket. So first will be the camera movement, then a ratio sign. Then we have to describe the scene. Since we are generating it from an image, we don't need to describe it in really details. And since we have generated the visuals from the chat GPT, so we can simply copy and paste this prompt inside the bracket. And we don't any changes in the visual style. So I'm not going to add anything regarding the visual style also. And finally, make sure Gen 3 Alpha Turbo is selected over here. And let's click on generate. Okay, so here is our generated video, which looks pretty nice. And in the similar process, I will keep generating other clips of the movie trailer in the similar format. Okay, now we have all the video clips we would need for this movie trailer. So here is our astronaut who is trying to contact the Earth but cannot contact. And here, our astronaut is uh, gathering some samples from Titan. Then here, our astronaut is looking around in Titan. And then here, our astronaut or the main character has suddenly got signals from Earth. All right, so now let's proceed with the next tips. Now that all the videos are generated for all the scenes, let's also generate a voiceover for our movie. And for that, we will use 11 labs. Okay, now we are in 11 labs and here we have to add the script and then we can generate our voiceover. So we already have the script that we have generated from ChatGPT earlier. So we will simply copy and paste the voiceover narration part that we have generated. So we will paste it here in 11 labs. And then from here, you can select a voiceover. So there are a wide range of voiceovers you can select from. And if you don't like anything from here, you can even find more voiceovers from here with different categories like narration, conversational, or if you want it for animation, or social media, entertainment, TV, advertisement, and a lot more. But for this one, I will select this particular voice. The shallow reefs are but a fraction of this enormous water world. Let's select this. Then from the settings, you get few more options to customize the voice. But I will keep it as it is and let's click on generate. Okay, so after adjusting those settings a bit, mainly the stability part, here is our final. In a result. moment, Earth fell silent. The signal cut off, leaving her stranded in the frozen alien landscape, her cries swallowed by the void. 
Day after day, Emma adapted. Okay, so finally, let's generate a background music for our movie trailer using Udo AI. Okay, we are in Udo AI and we will create our song or the background music from this particular area. We can first go to create and let's add a prompt like a background soundtrack of a movie trailer, a cinematic background soundtrack for a movie trailer on a sci-fi movie. Then I would add a style like cinematic. After that, I would choose the model Udo 130. And from lyrics section, we this is not going to be a music, so we don't need any lyrics to add over here. So let's click on auto generate. And from advanced features, uh, we have a few more options from which you can select. So I'm going to keep it as default for now and let's click on create. Okay, so after modifying the prompt a little bit, I got a pretty nice background soundtrack which is properly fitting with the movie's theme. Now that we have all the assets we would need to create our movie trailer, let's merge it up all together in our video editing software to render out a final video. So I'm using Premiere Pro but you are free to use any other video editing software. Okay now in Premiere Pro I will simply import all the video clips, then the voiceover and the background music. So now I will just merge it up all together, add the voiceover, then the background music. If I need, I would also add some background sound effects. And now here is how the final film looks like. In a moment, Earth fell silent. The signal cut off, leaving her stranded in the frozen alien landscape, her cries swallowed by the void. Day after day, Emma adapted. Survival became her routine as she braved Titan's icy plains and learned to endure the silence. Her only companions were the alien sky and the distant shifting stars, a quiet presence that filled the endless years. After a hundred long years, a faint signal broke through the silence, a beacon of hope from Titan reaching out across the stars. For the first time in decades, she heard a human voice. Earth had found her, a lifeline at last. After her endless journey, Emma returned home. Earth, yet not the Earth she once knew. The world had transformed in her absence. She was now a symbol of survival, a legend who had crossed the expanse of time and space. Emma had endured the silence of space, a century of solitude, yet her spirit remained unbroken. A woman who returned across a century, crossing light years to find home once more.